Yesterday, I had a chance to speak with Ben Bywater, the starter and incumbent leading linebacker. In fact, he's led the Cougars the last two seasons in overall tackles, and naturally, he probably wants a third. I asked him about that and much more. Here is the fashion guru, Ben Bywater, BYU starting linebacker on BYU Sports Nation. Ben, you are a fashion guru, and not surprisingly, you have showed up with a liquid death trucker hat on. Uh, two questions there. One, why the trucker hat? And what the heck is liquid death? <laughs> I was just talking about this with uh, Kenny, you know, behind behind the scenes. I was, I, the, the truckers were big, you know, in the 80s and in the 90s. They're big now. Okay, I'm bringing back the old fads. And then, uh, yeah, liquid death, just a little water company. I'm pretty sure they're Utah-based, so you got to support the hometown. So, yeah, man, I'm just trying to mix it up. Never worn a trucker on, on air before, so you just got to diversity boys you know hey are we diverse can we be can we be versatile and that's the plan i love it there's a little bit of red in that hat i'll allow it i'll allow it for now okay but I bleed blue. I, we, it's true it's true uh, also i just googled liquid death and apparently it kills your thirst so <laughs> that that's that's the thing right quencher it quenches <laughs> okay now the fashion out of the way it's on to football what's different about the buildup to week one in 2023 compared to previous seasons, you've done this as a collegiate football player. Yeah, I would just say, obviously, fall camp's been different because we got a new D staff. Um, for us, it's just been a lot more intense. You know, we've you can feel the urgency, you can feel the intensity, um, and it's been good. You know, everyone's held accountable, everyone's on board, and uh, yeah, it's been it's been it's been a lot for sure. But it's been it's made me a better football player. And I think everyone feels the same way. So, yeah, everyone's getting their bodies back. You know, we're getting camp legs out of us and then just prepping for Sam Houston State come Saturday. I know you're not looking specifically at statistics, but you have led the team in tackles the past two years. So because you've done that, has that become something that you are striving for this year to make it three years straight? Absolutely. That is something I'm striving for. And, and you got to stay healthy to do that. So you got it. You got to be in there taking care of your body. You got to be, you know, doing all the little things right um, to in order to do that. So I'm very, I'm very blessed. And I feel honored to, you know, have done that, you know, have led the team in tackles the past two years. I'm playing alongside great linebackers. And this year I'm playing alongside AJ and Max and a bunch of other good players. So I got to bring my A game every week and it's not me versus them. We're working in unison. We're working together. Um, but yeah, would love to would love to three-peat that. Yeah, how would you explain the dynamic of that group of the other two guys you just mentioned with Max Tooley and AJ Vong Like, what what type of backer are you in that uh dynamic? The three musketeers. Like, what role do all of you play as you work cohesively together? Yeah, that's a great question. I would say obviously we know who Max is. Max is a heavy hitter, he's a playmaker. Uh, I love playing with Max because you know, the intimidate, I mean. The intimidation factor, he does it all, right? And AJ is a super solid, very sound, very fundamental, smart backer as well. And so I, I love playing against both those guys because they they both have played a lot of college football. They know what they're doing. Um, but for me, you know, I, I just want to be a leader out there. I want to be a guy who, you know, they look at and they go, okay, Ben Bywater, you know, he, he not only does what he's supposed to do, but he comes up and makes big-time plays when we need him. Um, I just want to be a guy that's reliable. I want to be a guy that they – they view as an asset out there on the field and just, you know, a camaraderie guy. I want to be a guy that they love playing with a guy who roots for his teammates. Um, that's who I want to be. I want to be a guy who is their biggest cheerleader as well. So AJ and Max, man, I got the utmost respect for both those guys. Um, those guys are obviously one on the depth chart right now, but there's a lot of other young backers in there that are studs as well. So um, that's where I feel like I fit. I'm obviously going to go play, go ball, go do my thing. Um, but that's how I view myself in that room. The defense feels like they're ready to be opportunistic and uh, ready to prove some people wrong. But when you look at the statistics from last year, why do you feel like you're poised to do so? I mean, what are, what are you seeing from not just the linebacker group, but from the entirety of the defense that makes you say, yeah, we are going to be better and we are going to be much different than last year? I would say we'd start with Jay Hill. You know, he's came in and, and done a, a tremendous job just with the culture with hey these are the expectations this is the standard this is how we do things um and it's been it's been electric and it's been contagious i really feel like everybody's on board everybody feels you know optimistic if you ask tyler batty he feels the same way 
you ask any of our safeties, they re- everybody feels like they can go out and ball this year and, and make big time plays on a big time stage. So I, I tip my hat to Jay Hill. You know, he's a tremendous coach and, you know, he's, he's brought that energy and that, that vibe that, that really is, it's so easy to get on board with because, you know, he, he, he lifts you up while he's lifting himself up and everybody. So um, the culture number one is, is why we, I feel like are mystic defense this year and, and I'm, I'm really excited to go prove people wrong and, and you do our thing maybe you just answered the question but let me rephrase it a little bit when i ask you the strength of the byu defense in 2023 culture certainly is a huge factor there but from a skill set perspective i mean is it tackling is it physicality like where, where what is the strength of the byu defense right now I would say we had a we had a great fall camp tackling and you know that's hard that's hard to answer not having played any games um but from what i've seen is that we are obviously we want to be a great man coverage team we want to be a great in zones we're versatile we do a lot of different things um but i would just say you know aggression and and being hungry right mm. being hungry you know, we're, we're coming off we're, we're ambitious we're coming off a season that you know maybe we're not the most proud about but, uh, you know, we got a lot of people to prove wrong. We got a lot of things we can go do. But I would just say we're a hungry, scrappy defense this year that's going to go, you know, show the world, you know, what we can do. Hey, if your strengths are aggression and strong tackling, that's a great start for BYU football. <laughs> <laughs> ben sorry. Bywater is with us on BYU Sports Nation. You've had a couple of unfortunate injuries to the safety group, uh, yeah. losing your friend Micah Harper and now Talon Alfrey's down for a little bit with an injury as well. What can you do in the linebacker room and up front on the defensive, uh, the front seven, essentially, to help out the safeties that are trying to figure some things out with some unfortunate injuries? Yeah, I mean, you hate to see that. You hate to see Micah go down. Talent, it's, it breaks my heart because those guys work really, really hard. Um, but for us, you know, nothing changes. You know, I know that sounds, you know, cliche. Everybody says that, but it is next man up. You know, I really trust, you know, I, I think Ethan Slade is going to be one of those guys that steps in. And I've been seeing him make plays for three years now, you know, whether it's scout, whether it's versus our offense. I really believe in him. I think he can make a strong push and go ball. So it's next man up. Um, but for us, it's stay poised, keep that camaraderie. You know, when we face adversity, we're not pointing fingers at each other. You know, we're rallying together, rallying the troops, and, you know, we're keeping that positive mindset. So, yeah, that's how, obviously, you know, we face that little adversity right there. But, you know, it's how do you respond? How do you keep charging forward? Okay, we'll finish with a couple of quick hitters. Uh, Number one, what's the toughest part about defending against a Keaton Slovis-led BYU offense? His accuracy. He is an accurate, and when he wants to put the ball on the money, he can do it. So, He's, he's, yeah, I would say accuracy number one. And, you know, he's experienced. He's got a lot of college football under his belt and uh, he knows what he's doing. So accuracy number one. Okay. Number two, is there anything special that you're going to be wearing on game day, Ben, that, that, or during game week? That's a great question. I think I'm just going to go back to my black cleats guys. You know, I, I will say <laughs> in, in 2021, I was primarily one of the only guys wearing black cleats. Now, come Saturday, I don't want to say anything, but it <laughs> might be half the team wearing black cleats, okay? Just, hey, you didn't hear from me. All right, you didn't hear from me. Oh, uh, Ben setting the trend once again. Uh, and finally, any more mic'd up segments we can expect from you at any point this season? <laughs> oh, boys, boys, that was, uh, you know, hopefully they give me the mic again. You never know. Never <laughs> know. We, the edited, you know, we maybe get the unedited version, you know, coming out, but... I was so tired that day. We were running around like crazy, and I was like just huffing and puffing that day. So I'm glad that they were able to make me look somewhat presentable. I was probably slurring my words and not seeing straight, you know, on the uncut version. But you know, they <laughs> our media team, our media team is the best. They do a great job making all of us look cooler than we are. So shout out to our media team. Love those guys. Hey, to your credit, you stole a few passes, to use a phrase that you brought up earlier in this interview, and uh, that was a lot of fun to watch. Grab your liquid death spring water and get ready for football, man. It's coming on Saturday night. Yes, sir, boss. I appreciate you, man. We'll talk.